for a low vision and visually impaired individual to cross the street without any incident of some type of accident. That they can be aware of that situation. Uh, I would I would like to introduce you to Jackie Dozier. Her husband was the next policeman in Albany, police chief, and also uh, on the council. Uh, she has a little uh, story to share with you. We're so, she's sorry. That, I'm sorry that the individuals couldn't make it here tonight, but Jackie will share that story, and that will conclude our our thing. And we hopefully you will take in consideration of our dilemma in this uh, community that we live in, that we support as as myself as a lion. We help our community children visually and uh, sighted for a number of eye problems there. So, uh, Jackie, okay. would you share? Uh, Janet Coker was supposed to come with me tonight. She is one of the people that are low vision. But I went to her house and she never answered the door. But anyhow, she, uh, I had this experience that I never want to go through again. Um, I was coming out of uh, McDonald's one morning and she had already left and she was out in the street. And she started across the street. She has a white cane. She got out in the middle of the street. The cars were just whizzing by. But no one saw. And I was scared to death. She was going to get killed. And I ran out there and stopped the traffic. And they stopped so she could get through. But that was horrible. And if she could have pressed a button to stop cars, but you can't have that every corner on the band. And and that's uh, when, when I met with your group last year, uh, and, and I talked with Larry uh, Taylor on this uh, at least two occasions. Uh, we also contacted the Chamber of Commerce to get, uh, I'm sorry, the downtown merchants to get there and put. Where, where would be the number one location? Well, we were we were considering uh, the Main Street and Fair there, which is one. A single operated uh, light here, whereas down by uh, Main Street and where the bank is, there's too much turning there that wouldn't be feasible. And this is kind of a dividing line between going going east and going west, where you're able to cross both ways on that that area there. And like I said, uh, when I met with the mayor and the city manager, if if there's a problem with finance, uh, we we as Lions might consider helping out by doing some fundraisers. But the most important thing is that we would have to have the mayor and the city manager roll up their sleeves and get out there and help us too. Thank you. Do you, do you have any as far as uh, information that you and I talked about? And that's been, hey, pardon? I'm talking about uh, the city manager. Uh, that's been probably, that was still last winter when you and I last talked about that. Maybe it was. Mm -hmm. I, I have some information just concerning signs that would be placed in the, uh, in the roadway or along the, the side of the road. Mm -hmm. We did. We have budgeted some money for what might purchase one audible traffic signal. It's actually eight audible components, mm -hmm. but it has to be wired in. Yeah. Uh, and it's something that, that could work at Main Street and Fair. Mm -hmm. uh, there's always the possibility of just more, more signs. I'm not convinced, but just more signs <coughs> necessarily stop everybody when they need to stop. Well, the one, one thing I found out here in uh, Richland County is that uh, our driver's uh, department there uh, got, uh, and at, at the school, driving school, they do not educate them in regards to the right of a pedestrian and also the 
the the white cane law of uh, being aware of that and the leader law. We have a lot of individuals uh, in town that don't recognize those three of uh, those two items, the cane and the leader dog, which is it's uh, in the law that uh, you must uh, give them the right of way, and we're not getting any, any kind of educate education on that. They're going to have an educational thing at the college on the 25th, and I doubt if they're going to hit on that on the white cane law and the leader dog situation. That'll just bypass it and go on to the other things. Well, in studying this, one of the things that uh, I think your group pointed it out is if there's a crosswalk, the pedestrian has a right of way. Right. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think that is a kind of word 99% of the time mm -hmm. downtown and on the other side. But uh, I'm not, I'm not going to find out the hard way. But no. it, 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 it's an educational thing. No. But Larry, you say we have we actually have some money in the budget for this? We, we have some money budgeted for all the projects. Mm -hmm. well, how about we do this? Uh, give us um, give us a month mm -hmm. to come up with a plan. Would you come back to the uh, to our uh, late July meeting? Sure. With mm -hmm. intentions of seeing what progress we made. Okay. All right. Okay. okay. Gentlemen, thank you very much. <coughs> Was there somebody else who wanted to comment? Okay, moving on. Uh, item 9A, appointment to the library board. Uh, is this letter here by Uh Letter from the library board. They do have a 